Well, you wrote this recent report when you discussed the idea of leapfrogging technologies. And I, I was hoping that you could tell me a little bit about sort of the technologies that you discuss in the report. So when thinking about the four kinds of technology that we're really promoting here, it would be cloud, social computing, big data, and 3D printing. And of course, there are many other kinds of technologies, but the reality is that within the IT sector, these are the four technologies which have huge impact are underutilized today uh, and really offer a platform that others can build on. When people think about cloud computing, they're often thinking about the movement from CapEx to OpEx, from investing in your own uh, infrastructure and backend systems, servers, etc., to being able to license or lease technology. And that's right, but I think it has an additional value for developing and emerging market economies in that it is much cheaper and in some cases adds more value because of the way it's implemented. You buy only what you need and you share the infrastructure with others. It lowers risks because you don't need to invest in all of that backend technology yourself and it's more flexible, right? And I think most important for me is it allows you to take advantage of information and systems that countries might not have exposure to otherwise. Social computing, the applications are really widespread, but what I would want to talk about are the potential to improve the democratization process as well as lower costs, right? So the example I would give in the democratization process is I think that social computing has an incredible ability in developing countries to improve the way that governments interact with citizens and obtain real-time feedback from citizens. And I think this is totally un unexploited. It's an opportunity for people who wouldn't normally participate in the policy-making process to get involved and to be involved. And governments should proactively seek this out um, in a way that makes sense to them um, more than they do today. The other thing I would say is in terms of reducing costs is that governments have an opportunity through social computing to utilize their citizens to obtain information that they would otherwise have to pay a lot of money for by using external consultants um, or not get it as accurate. So citizen-powered research is something that's really powerful that social computing enables. I actually think that big data has one of the best potential for developing and emerging market economies as a type of technology because traditional data sources are hard to find. So if you've ever tried to research statistics on the ground in these countries, you find it's very difficult, they're few and far between and hard to come by. What big data does is it allows you to leverage ancillary data to mine correlations and aid decision making. So you can actually uh, extract more value from other kinds of technology, like social computing, like mobility, like cloud. Um, and big data is already being used on the ground to, let's say, predict the spread of disease, to help farmers quantify harvests and correlate them to weather patterns, to help the transport sector. And at our company, we actually work very closely with Conservation International to implement something we call Earth Insights. So countries are actually using this in order to measure their biodiversity and species loss and figure out what's the right way to address that better. And they just never had that data before and were never able to think about what's the right way using data to make it happen. So 3D printing really has the potential to democratize manufacturing in emerging market and developing countries. Um, what it really does is solve a distribution problem. So you can take amorphous materials and turn them into any kind of shape that you want at the push of a button. So whereas before you would say in order to create auto parts, you'd have to import them over expensive roads, etc. And now you could just print them on site. So 3D printing already offers an opportunity to do hearing aids, to create agricultural tools um, on site, to do braille um, materials. Um, and the potential to do more is significant. So um, is it expensive? Yes. Is it cheaper than building your own factory on site? Absolutely. And there's where I think the potential lies because like mobile operators you know, working in these countries um, who sell you know, cell phones for a minute or here, 3D printers could offer the same kind of opportunity to print small quantities of goods that are needed locally.